The Maya. This is a term that we use in human design to describe reality as we know it, reality as we experience it. We call human design the mechanics of the Maya, how the Maya works, what are the laws of the Maya. And of course, Maya is Sanskrit and it has to do with illusion. It actually, the root Ma is the same root where we get matter. And what it really means is comparison or measurement. That the Maya is where things are measured and they can be compared to each other. One quantity can be compared to another quantity, things like that. Now, in human design, we actually have a aspect of human design called base theory, which concerns how the Maya is constructed, how the illusion is constructed. There are five bases, sort of five pillars, or five fundamental dimensions, we could even say, that come together, and with all five of them, if any one were missing, it wouldn't work, with all five, the Maya is produced as an illusion. Now, once you have the Maya, then you have the, th the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time. So we actually have a nine-dimensional analysis of the Maya in deep aspects of human design. At that point, we can't even really call it human design. It's just design knowledge because it's not even really human, although part of it is how humans experience that, and humanity is part of the Maya. So what is the Maya when we're talking about it? Well, it's really just a way of talking about reality, but I think the distinction here is to realize that when we talk about the reality as an illusion, it's not so we can think we're living in a simulation or the matrix or something like that, even though these things are somewhat metaphorically true. Uh, somewhat, somewhat. We can't go too far with that. No, the real reason for talking about the Maya is that the Maya has certain laws. I'll just give a, a couple examples. Seven-year cycles are a law of the Maya. That's a big part of what human design is doing is aligning you to the natural timing of the Maya such that if you're following your strategy and authority, you will naturally fall in sync with it. But if you're not following that, if you're a generator like me and you initiate your way out of a situation and you're only two or three years into that cycle, well, the rest of that cycle continues to play out and you're just not involved with it or, you know, you still, it's almost like you still get the same timing, right? Um, it's the, you can't really rush the timing. Uh, if, if you're going to have a certain amount of lifespan and you're going to reincarnate after that lifespan and then something happens and you perish early, it's not like you get to come back any earlier. It's, it's, that's the kind of idea of the, of, of the Maya. And some people interpret the no choice tenet of human design to mean that it's impossible to change timings. Like in the example I just gave, according to no choice, everybody has the lifespan they get. Well, okay, not really, because you can interfere with it. That's the whole point. The mind, with its mental decision-making, interferes with the actual strategy and inner authority, which is the decision-making that aligns with the laws of the Maya. So if you're kind of destined to be in a relationship with someone at a certain point, and that's just where you are in your journey, and then your mind freaks out and you initiate breaking up with them, you're not really done with them. You can't really be done with them. You have to go, still go through the whole seven-year cycle. Things stay with you for seven years. Now, that's just one of the laws of the Maya. There are hundreds. In fact, I would love to someday write a book called The Laws of the Maya, which is just a collection of the laws that just seem to be sort of built-in laws of the Maya. One of them is the Pareto Principle, which is the so-called 80-20 rule. That's a law of the Maya. These are like constants of the Maya. The seven-year cycle, that's a constant of the Maya. So you really can't escape these laws of the Maya. And when we talk about Maya and human design, that's generally what we're referring to. We're referring to our shared consensus reality, more or less, but pointing out that it is constructed and that its construction obeys certain mechanics while also enforcing certain mechanics.